Hello. So our project is interested in structural discovery in wire embeddings. Wire embedding is a family of machine learning techniques that tries to capture the semantic meaning of words. What you do is you provide the machine learning algorithm with a large volume of text. And the machine learning algorithm reads through those texts and try to dissect the meaning of each word based on how it's used in the text. How that is done by is by projecting the words into a mathematical space. So basically you represent a word as a point in that space. And you can add a lot of interesting things into that space. For example, the words that the algorithm considers to be semantically similar are placed closer together in that space. And that's what we're interested in. We're interested in whether you can actually discover a more complex structures in those space. So, and we're applying an agent-based model called Monte Carlo Fissure Machine. It was originally inspired by an organism called the slime mold. So the slime mold is interesting because when it searches for food, it spreads out its biomatter almost like roads that its other parts of the body follows. And like we mentioned, the war embeddings are constructed so words that, that are similar semantically are closer together in that space. So we thought it would be very intriguing to apply this slime mold inspired model to visualize the rows that connect the words together. And the slime uh, and Monte Carlo Fissure machine is an agent based model. What that means is that there are millions and millions of agents that make very simple decisions to try to traverse that space and they are drawn to food. So they traverse that space in order to get closer to the food. And we have a visualization here. So on the left side is slime mode in real life, in action. It's building, as you can see, it's building roads that are trying to connect the food together. It's a sort of like very aggressive searching happening in real life. And on the right side, you can see uh, the yellow dots are the words or the points in space that we designate as food that the agents are trying to find. And once the sense of road and highways that the agent are traversing become stabilized, we extract them as traces represented in purple. And this is a larger point of view. There are millions and millions of words, obviously, in a large volume of text. And as you can see, there is still this sense of highway and roads that's connecting those words together. And, and we are have uh, divided the structure into two different elements. One element is what we call knots, knots or clusters. So basically in knots, the words are put closer together in like a way that doesn't have any directionality, that is just a blob, that is like a cluster. And as you can see on the left side, the also, the word also is positioned inside a cluster. How it spreads out does not have any sense of directionality to it. It just spreads out and finds other words. And on the right side, you have something distinctly different that this word run is positioned inside a filament that, that's like a row that try to connect the clusters together. So we have separated these two distinct type of words that we think are very interesting. And this is a demo of our tool to discover, to study the structure. And as you can see, each point are actually words. And we, you can try to imagine that we are spawning millions and millions of agents on one single point and the agents spread out and trying to find its neighbor words. And as you can see, more and more words are discovered. We are trying to expand not blind, blindly just by calculating its distance, but rather we want to follow the structure. And as you can see, more point and more points are discovered. And we can do this with other points as well, a mark in yellow. I can simply click on these points and I can try to find out if I spawn all the agents from that point, how, it, how does the agent discover the general structure? So this is how, this is our project so far. We really want to study 
these structures underlying those war embedding data. And it's very exciting. And thank you for listening to our talk.